Welcome! My name is Svetlana Abramova. In this video, I will summarize a study carried out in cooperation with colleagues from the University of British Columbia in Canada and Innsbruck in Austria. With the price of Bitcoin rising tenfold in the past 12 months, we are facing a new wave of mainstream adoption of crypto assets. Once a tight-knit circle of computer geeks, the global population of crypto asset users has grown substantially. Recent estimates suggest more than 100 million of unique investors. However, many users have trouble keeping private keys secure. Users forget or lose the strings of bits which grant access to digital funds. Some estimates state that more bitcoins have been lost in the past 10 years than will be created in the next 100 years. Our work is an empirical study of security behaviors, risk perceptions and experiences of crypto asset users. It addresses two fundamental questions. Who are crypto asset users? How do they handle cryptographic private keys? Recall that the security of crypto assets rests on one's ability to keep a private key secret. To answer these questions, we had to overcome two roadblocks. Crypto asset users are hard to reach, and more importantly, they are very heterogeneous. To address the former, we used both broad and deep sampling to recruit almost 400 crypto asset users as participants. To deal with their heterogeneity, we applied cluster analysis to identify groups of individuals who share similar attitudes towards risk and security. We ran the cluster analysis on five psychometric constructs adopted from behavioral theories. The scatter plot suggests a solution with three clusters of users. We decided to call them cypherpunks, rookies, and hotless. Let me introduce you to the representative user persona of each cluster. Cypherpunks are technically burst enthusiasts, like Bitcoin's early adopters. They are mostly male in the age group of 25 to 44 years and with more than three years of experience of crypto asset use. Rookies, our second cluster, are casual users who joined the crypto asset market more recently, perhaps because of fear of missing out on investment opportunity. This cluster is more diverse with a high fraction of female and elderly investors. Finally, hotless are middle-aged and high net worth traders who started to use crypto assets three, four years ago, primarily out of financial motives. Besides the crypto market, they report being active on conventional stock exchanges as well. Note that we didn't start with the idea of finding these user personas. By contrast, we were surprised that the data on the psychometric constructs alone offered an interpretation that's in line with media reports and common sense. As we shall see, these personas differ in behaviors of interest. This is why we believe that future research can adopt this procedure to better understand this heterogeneous population. In the rest of this talk, I will focus on security behavior. Interestingly, almost 40% of hotless had already fallen victim to key thefts, compared to 3 and 15% for cypherpunks and rookies. This explains why hotless are highly concerned about security risks and willing to undertake protection measures. When it comes to the control of private keys, almost half of rookies are willing to share keys with another party, for example a trusted person or exchange, whereas cypherpunks and hodlers prefer to manage their keys themselves. If we look at the wallet types used, we see a clear preference among all the clusters. The most popular are software, mobile and hardware wallets, with almost 80% of respondents reporting to use them. When it comes to the main reason for choosing a wallet, Cypherpunks look at security, whereas rookies consider the convenience of making transactions. We have seen that the population of crypto asset users can be clustered into distinct groups, and these groups differ in levels of users' expertise, risk concerns, and protection efficacy. These differences suggest that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to the design of digital wallets. Virtual asset service providers should therefore consider offering more personalized services. For example, wallet developers may profile their clients, like we did, and offer knowledgeable users some advanced features, such as setting a custom transaction fee. Personalization could also go beyond the interface alone and could be applied to more effective training, knowledge transfer, or risk communication. As our results show, cypherpunks and hodlers are experienced users, while rookies need much more support in managing private keys. And overall, managing crypto asset keys leads to a fundamental trade-off between security and convenience. To stash bits under your mattress, akin a bundle of cash, or to trust a third party to guard your crypto assets.